Hi everyone, it's Miss Sarah here, and I am excited today to come and talk to you for a little bit and to read you a story. Recently, we celebrated Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, sometimes you might make a Valentine for someone that you love, or maybe you would receive a Valentine for a friend or a family member. I wonder if you had bunch of Valentines all lined up in a row. Which one would you pick? How would you decide which Valentine to pick? I have some Valentines here in front of me. Let me show them to you. I have a purple one here in the shape of a heart with little hearts on it. Would this be a Valentine you might pick? Maybe you like purple and pink. Maybe you like hearts. What about this Valentine? It's folded up like a card. It's very small. Would you pick the smallest Valentine? Or maybe you would pick a very big decorative Valentine that someone decorated. Would this be the Valentine that you would look at and say, I want to pick that one? What about this Valentine? Oh no, this one got all crumpled up. It's red, beautiful color red. Would you pick this Valentine? Would this be the one that you would pick? Today, we're going to read a story about a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a man that not many people picked to be their friend. In fact, nobody picked Zacchaeus to be their friend. And we're going to read and find out what happened when Jesus met Zacchaeus and why nobody wanted to be his friend in the first place. Let's read together. The man who didn't have any friends, none. There once was a man who didn't have any friends, none. Do you have any friends? Well, of course you do, but not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus didn't have any. You're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like someone. Was it because he had a name that was hard to say? Well, neither is that. Even though he was short and did have a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes. Taxes were what people had to pay the king. But Zacchaeus took more than he was supposed to and kept the extra money for himself and made himself rich. Everyone knew what he was up to, and it made them cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him and walking on the opposite side of the street and pretending not to see him and whispering things like, there's that nobody who thinks he's somebody loud enough so he could hear. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down, but that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree, he said. So he did. He was surprisingly good at climbing trees for a man who was so unusually short that he had to take a flying leap just to get into his chair in the morning. From the tree, Zacchaeus had the perfect view all the way down to the road. Another minute, and suddenly, Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus, and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I'd like to come over to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree come over to his house. No one had ever wanted to come anywhere near his house, let alone inside it. The people saw this, and needless to say, it made them even crosser and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered, Why is Jesus being kind to that big sinner? Doesn't Jesus know about him? Zacchaeus scrambled down and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about how he had been stealing and how no one liked him 
and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew all about Zacchaeus and the stealing and everything, and he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale, what I've done is wrong, but now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend, even when no one else was, because Jesus was showing people what's, what God's love was like. His wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. What a wonderful reminder that story is. Jesus loves us always. Sometimes, like Zacchaeus, we might feel small, like no one notices us. Jesus does. Sometimes our best beautiful selves don't always shine through. Sometimes we don't feel like our best people and God still loves us. Maybe we don't always let our love shine through to everyone. Maybe we were unkind. Maybe we're feeling angry and we don't feel loving. God still loves us and he sees that we can be the best people that he intended. And sometimes we feel all crumpled up and like no one notices us or no one would choose us. Guess what? God will always choose you. He will hold you in his loving arms and he'll help you to straighten out all of those spots in your life. And he will say, I love you even when you feel down and crumpled and like no one notices you. God sees us. He notices us just like he did Zacchaeus. And he loves us forever and ever, no matter what. And I hope we can always remember that, especially the times like Zacchaeus, when we might do things we're not proud of, or maybe we feel like people don't notice us. God does. He always does. Let's pray together. Will you repeat after me? Here we go. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for seeing us. Help us to show others your unfailing love. Help us to treat others with kindness just like you did for Zacchaeus. We love you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful week. I pray for you that you will feel God's love all week long and that you will show kindness and love to others just like Jesus did for Zacchaeus. Bye. Let's go ahead and say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're here to, what are we going to do? Sing a song. We're here to sing a song. We are going to sing two songs this morning. The first is, Oh, How I Love Jesus. And the words are, Oh, How I Love Jesus, because he first loved us. us. Oh, he does love us. But we're going to say, Oh, How I Love Jesus, because he first loved me and you and you. <laughs> and all of us. And then the second song we're going to sing is God is so good. He's so good to me. I think we've done that one before. You may know it. Are we ready? 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 Ready. Here we go. <laughs> Very nice.
let's try one more time. Very good.